Hi everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. I have another Here journal for you, Leviticus chapter 20. Leviticus, after the exodus from Egypt, the Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Leviticus a chapter at a time and doing a Here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now let's read and listen to Leviticus chapter 20 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 20, Punishments for Disobedience The Lord said to Moses, Give the people of Israel these instructions, which apply both to native Israelites and to the foreigners living in Israel. If any of them offer their children as a sacrifice to Moloch, they must be put to death. The people of the community must stone them to death. I myself will turn against them and cut them off from the community because they have defiled my sanctuary and brought shame on my holy name by offering their children to Moloch. And if the people of the community ignore those who offer their children to Moloch and refuse to execute them, I myself will turn against them and their families and will cut them off from the community. This will happen to all who commit spiritual prostitution by worshiping Moloch. I will also turn against those who commit spiritual prostitution by putting their trust in mediums or in those who consult the spirits of the dead. I will cut them off from the community. So set yourselves apart to be holy, for I am the Lord your God. Keep all my decrees by putting them into practice, for I am the Lord who makes you holy. Anyone who dishonors father or mother must be put to death. Such a person is guilty of a capital offense. If a man commits adultery with his neighbor's wife, both the man and the woman who have committed adultery must be put to death. If a man violates his father by having sex with one of his father's wives, both the man and the woman must be put to death, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man has sex with his daughter-in-law, both must be put to death. They have committed a perverse act and are guilty of a capital offense. If a man practices homosexuality, having sex with another man, as with a woman, both men have committed a detestable act. They must both be put to death, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man marries both a woman and her mother, he has committed a wicked act. The man and both women must be burned to death to wipe out such wickedness from among you. If a man has sex with an animal, he must be put to death, and the animal must be killed. If a woman presents herself to a male animal to have intercourse with it, she and the animal must both be put to death. You must kill both, for they are guilty of a capital offense. If a man marries his sister, the daughter of either his father or his mother, and they have sexual relations, it is a shameful disgrace. They must be publicly cut off from the community. Since the man has violated his sister, he will be punished for his sin. If a man has sexual relations with a woman during her menstrual period, both of them must be cut off from the community, for together they have exposed the source of her blood flow. Do not have sexual relations with your aunt, whether your mother's sister or your father's sister. This would dishonor a close relative. Both parties are guilty and will be punished for their sin. If a man has sex with his uncle's wife, he has violated his uncle. Both the man and woman will be punished for their sin, and they will die childless. If a man marries his brother's wife, it is an act of impurity. He has violated his brother, and the guilty couple will remain childless. You must keep all my decrees and regulations by putting them into practice. Otherwise, the land to which I am bringing you as your new home will vomit you out. Do not live according to the customs of the people I am driving out before you. It is because they do these shameful things that I detest them. But I have promised you, you will possess their land because I will give it to you as your possession, a land flowing with milk and honey. I am the Lord your God, who has set you apart from all other people. 
You must therefore make a distinction between ceremonially clean and unclean animals, and between clean and unclean birds. You must not defile yourselves by eating any unclean animal or bird or creature that scurries along the ground. I have identified them as being unclean for you. You must be holy, because I, the Lord, am holy. I have set you apart from all other people to be my very own. Men and women among you who act as mediums or who consult the spirits of the dead must be put to death by stoning. They are guilty of a capital offense. That was Leviticus chapter 20 in the New Living Translation from the U Version Bible app. Now for my hair journal. First, the highlight, Leviticus chapter 20, verses 1 to 5. Verse 1, the Lord said to Moses, Give the people of Israel these instructions, which apply both to native Israelites and to the foreigners living in Israel. If any of them offer their children as a sacrifice to Molech, they must be put to death. The people of the community must stone them to death. I myself will turn against them and cut them off from the community because they have defiled my sanctuary and brought shame on my holy name by offering their children to Molech. And if the people of the community ignore those who offer their children to Molech and refuse to execute them, I myself will turn against them and their families and will cut them off from the community. This will happen to all who commit spiritual prostitution by worshiping Molech. So, what's my explanation? God instructed Moses to instruct the people of Israel about the detestable child sacrifice to Molech by Israelites and also foreigners in their land. He also warned judgment on those that conduct the child sacrifices and also those that condone the practices as deserving death as well. So what's the application for us today? Today we have a government sanctioned abortions, child sacrifice in the name of choice. Clearly God values life in innocent children. The spirit of Molech thrives today as children are being sacrificed all around the earth. Abortion is murder. Condoning abortion is condoning murder. We must repent of the sin of abortion and condoning abortion. The Lord will forgive us of even these detestable sins, but we cannot abide with Him until we do. Reference 1 John 1, 9. We confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Deuteronomy 30, 19. I call heaven and, and earth to witness against you today. Live. I have set Psalm before you life and death, three blessings five. and curse. Behold, Therefore, children, choose are life a heritage that from you, the Lord, the fruit of the womb, a reward. Like arrows in the land of a warrior are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with him. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. Psalm 139, 13 to 16. For you formed in my inward parts, you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are, my, are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my un unformed substance in your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, as yet there were none of them. Reference Romans 
chapter 1, verses 28 to 32. And since they did not see fit to acknowledge God, God gave them up to a debased mind to do what ought not to be done. They were filled with all manner of unrighteousness, evil, covetousness, malice. They are full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, mal maliciousness. They are gossips, slanders, haters of God, insolent, haughty, boastful, inventors of evil disobedient to parents, foolish, faithless, heartless, ruthless. Though they know God, righteousness decree that those who practice such things deserve to die, they not only do them, but give approval to those who practice them. Matthew 18:14. So it's not the will of my Father who is in heaven that one of these little ones should perish. Deuteronomy 27:25 Cursed be anyone who takes a bribe to shed innocent blood and all the people shall say amen Isaiah 5:20 Woe to those that call evil good and good evil who put darkness for light and light for darkness who put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter So what's my response Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. Reveal to me, Lord, anything in my life that needs repentance. Show me how to make restitution. Help me, Lord, to remain holy in you. I choose to strive to follow you faithfully and obediently forever. I pray for any that do not know you, that they will seek and find you as Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. Now, how about you? Why don't you try some here journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You will be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. Are you trying some here journaling? What have you learned? And do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If not, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. Talk to God. He loves you. He's waiting on you. Seek Him now.